grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And this is Dot, my almost 11-month-old rescue puppy. And this is our brief daily message of hope. Dot has had a new experience uh, overnight when I met her out this morning. It was uh, 27 degrees here. It still is in Houston. Uh, and uh, she was born in March of this year, of uh, 2021. She's never seen in her life uh, temperatures this cold. And so this was a new experience for her. And, and uh, when I let her out last night and it was uh, dropping rapidly, uh, and it was uh, uh, there was a little bit of uh, frozen rain falling. We have a little ice on the roads today, but no snow. Uh, she encountered it with the, her typical wildness this new experience uh, caused her to be uh, uh, spazzy, and she was running around in it, enjoying the cold. And uh, I was just thinking how we experience in our lives things that are new to us. You know, far too many people uh, approach anything new with great fear and trepidation, as though they are uh, inside of themselves thinking that something is uh, awaiting out there to, to hurt them. Uh, that's a scary way to go through life, to, to always uh, think that something bad is going to happen. You know, uh, those of us who have faith in the Lord know that uh, God has everything under his control and nothing uh, happens to us without, first of all, him being present with us as it's happening uh, and also getting his uh, permission to happen to us. Uh, we know that God is training us uh, in this life to, to the place where we're going to be spending eternity. Uh, I tell students all the time that we are saints in training. Uh, so rejoice, uh, lift up your hearts today and know that uh, you're walking on a path uh, that may be brand new to you, but it's not new to the Lord. It's the path that God has put in front of you and he walks that path with you. Uh, I was reading uh, this morning from the, the letter of Jude in the New Testament, the, next to the last book in the New Testament, uh, where Jude, an apostle of the Lord and uh, brother of James, uh, writes this in uh, Jude, uh, verse 17. There's only one chapter in Jude. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These are the men who divide you who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who doubt. Snatch others from the fire and save them. To others show mercy mixed with fear hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. Lift up your hearts and rejoice. Uh, the path you're walking today is the one that God has placed in front of you. And I was thinking also this morning of a very ancient uh, Easter hymn called uh, Come Ye Faithful, Raise the Strain of Triumphant Gladness. Those words were written in Latin in the uh, 8th century, a long time ago, by St. John of Damascus. And this music, uh, St. Kevin, uh, was written by Arthur Sullivan in the middle of the 19th century. It's a beautiful hymn. <laughs> Today, I hope you keep the joy of the Lord in your heart and know that he's with you and nothing that you're going to encounter today is new to him because God has got you walking his path and you don't walk it alone. He walks it with you. Have a blessed day today and God willing, Dot and I will see you here again tomorrow.